This is part three of the user guide for the B2 Bomber ADC and DAC now with Dante. In this video, we will cover Dante clocking. For further information, refer to the Dante controller manual, which can be downloaded at burlaudio.com slash documentation. This is very important to ensure everything is working together in the system and can be a bit confusing at first glance. There are three ways to clock the B2 Bomber ADC or DAC with Dante. The first way is to set the B2 ADC or DAC to internal clock with the Brooklyn 2 or BK2 card set to external. Using the B2 on internal clock is recommended wherever possible. The second way is to set the B2 ADC or DAC to external clock with the BK2 card set to external. The third way is to set the B2 ADC or DAC to Dante with the BK2 card set to internal. First, let's go over clocking the B2 Bomber on internal clock. Step 1. Set the B2 clock source on the front panel to internal. Step 2. Open Dante controller. Step 3. Click on clock status. Step 4. Set the B2 Bomber as preferred master and enable sync to external. Step 5. Make sure each device, including the host DAW, is set to the correct sample rate in device configuration. Figure 12 on page 13 shows an internal clocking example. Here you can see B2 ADC number 1 is set to internal, with the B2 internal clock sending clock to the B2 control. From the B2 control, word clock is sent to word clock out and to the Dante card. In this example, the B2 ADC number 1 is sending clock via B and C cables to both other units, B2 ADC number 2 and B2 DAC number 1, which are both set to external. Also, you can see how the B2 control sends clock to the Dante card in B2 ADC number 1, which is set to master. This card then transmits clock to the Dante network through the gigabit switch and to the Dante card in B2 ADC number 2 and B2 DAC number 1. Note how both Dante cards are in slave mode. Next, let's go over clocking the B2 Bomber on external clock. Step 1. Set the B2 clock source on the front panel to external. Step 2. Open Dante controller. Step 3. Click on Clock Status. Step 4. Set the B2 Bomber as Preferred Master and Enable Sync to External. Step 5. Make sure each device, including the host DAW, is set to the correct sample rate in device configuration. In Figure 14 on page 15 of the manual, you can see the external clocking example. Here we have an external clock sending word clock out via BNC cables to each of our B2 bombers, B2 ADC number 1, B2 ADC number 2, and B2 DAC number 1. Please note that all three B2 bombers are set to external clock source on the front panel. Word clock is sent to B2 ADC number 1. Then the clock control sends clock to the Dante card, which is set to master. This card then transmits clock to the Dante network through the gigabit switch. Please note that the Dante cards in B2 ADC number 2 and B2 DAC number 1 are receiving their clock via the Dante network with both Dante cards in slave mode. The third scenario for Dante clocking is clocking the B2 Bomber ADC or DAC to Dante. Step 1. Set clock source. For the B2 ADC, set to Dante. For the B2 DAC, set to Digital In. Step 2. Open Dante Controller. Step 3. Click on Clock Status. Step 4. Set B2 Bomber as Preferred Master and deselect Enable Sync to External. This means that the Dante card in B2 ADC number 1 will run on its internal clock, rather than getting the clock from the B2 clock control. 
Step 5. Make sure each device, including the host DAW, is set to the correct sample rate and device configuration. In figure 16 on page 17 of the manual, you can see the all Dante clocking example. In this scenario, clock is being generated from the Dante card in ADC number 1, which sends clock to the B2 control and then out to the Dante network. Each of the other B2 bombers are receiving clock from the Dante cards via the Dante network through the gigabit switch. Please note that each of the units are set to Dante clock. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go to our website, burlaudio.com, or email info at burlaudio.com.